Hey, hey, everybody. Uh, today was day 12 that I've been here. It's kind of weird that it's only been 12 days and it's my second Saturday here. It's weird. I feel like I've been here for so much longer that I've just kind of slipped into it, which is great. Um, adjusting to living in a foreign country where you do not speak the language like a native because uh, while I have been told I have a great accent, um, it's absolutely obvious to anybody who speaks French that I am not French. Uh, number one, I have a really American face. Number two, I'm blonde. Number three, um, my accent will never be perfect. <laughs> That's just not something that'll happen. I'll always sound a little bit off which I'm honestly okay with. As long as they can understand me, I don't need to be a native. Um, but today I slept late because it's Saturday. Um, and I went to an open market in my neighborhood, which was really, really cool. Uh, they had like three different places to get like fruits and vegetables that were like super fresh and it, just aesthetically pleasing in general it was so much fun to walk by there were like six or seven stalls of clothing like winter clothing on sale uh which was great uh, i got to walk around there for a bit there was i think three different trucks just filled with um meats and different types of meats uh there were some food truck type things selling specific types of cooked foods and there was this one station where they had just different types of olives and spreads and like hummus and that kind of thing which was so cool to see and they had little samples out which was awesome to me i really enjoyed that um there was a little merry-go-round as well that the kids went on it was really cute um, but yeah, it was fun to walk around and see. And that, after that, I went and grabbed lunch, ran into some friends at the park I decided to eat lunch in, and we basically talked for about a half hour, 45 minutes, just hanging out at the park, which was great, um, and then eating, because eating is one of my favorite pastimes ever. Those of y'all who know me, Eating is my favorite hobby. <laughs> if I am not sleeping or doing something that's uh, rather niche, I'm eating. I'm eating. <laughs> um, and then after that, I came back here and emailed a professor in French, which was daunting. Uh, Y'all, you have to understand that emails and writing in general terrifies me because I want to be understood. When you're speaking, you can correct yourself or the person will correct you and you'll say, oh, okay, blah. But if you're writing and they don't understand what you're saying, then they give the answer that they think is what you said and you're sitting there like, mm. especially if you need to Google every third word, Emailing in general is just so scary, so scary, um, at least for me, um, because in, I feel like in person I can communicate better because I have my gestures and if we get really confused I can just Google it, but you can fix it right then and there, and it's done, and it's fine, and no one hates you. Over email, it takes longer. <laughs> not fun. Emailing professors in general is not fun for me. <laughs> I always wonder about the level of formality as well, like how formal do I have to be with these professors, and that's hard in English. Like some professors will say, oh call me by my first name and it'll be really cool and chill, and other professors are like, I am the professor, I have a doctorate. I'd be wanting that respect. <laughs> <laughs> Which I totally get because you spent six years in graduate school writing this huge dissertation that's like this thick. Guys, all of the respect. 
<laughs> and they want to be called Dr. Whatever because they damn well earned it. Um, how do you deal with professors? Especially when you're like, I don't speak this language. Help. <laughs> uh, but in other news, I had a great conversation with my host mom. I showed her pictures of my family and we took some pictures that didn't turn out as well. So we're going to try again in the daylight when we can, uh, just so they'll turn out better and uh, do that thing. So that'll probably be on my Facebook. Um, I also got to Skype my parents and my sister Katie, which was great because I haven't uh, Skyped them or video chatted them since I got here. Um, yeah, that was fun. I, I don't know, it was different because this is usually just for them because they're the ones watching this. Um, but it was really cool to see their immediate reactions. So, also, they gave me support for my YouTube thing, which is great. I feel awesome about that. I'm getting better. I'm not rambling as much. <laughs> I will always ramble, but I'm doing better. I'm, I'm not giving you guys, like, 30-minute videos. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that was, that was today. And we're going to see if... Uh, something exciting happens tomorrow. Today I didn't do all that much because it was Saturday. Um, but yeah, pretty much settling in. Getting used to living in a foreign country, which is good. I will catch y'all tomorrow, and I hope you guys are having a good day in America or wherever y'all are. And, um, yeah. See you tomorrow.